hello hello everyone how are you today i am dr paramjeet and you are watching doctor education welcome back to my channel as you know this is science of exercise right here we talk about how you can build a good body in the exercise part and in the last two videos we had made we had explained to you the basics about how you can get strong bones what kind of exercise is needed what kind of nutrition is needed and strong bones actually made strong bodies and the second episode we explained you the functionality of a joint how the joint pops and what would be worrisome what would be pathological if you have a clicking sound cracking sound with pain or what is the normal reason why you can have popping sound what are the types of joints and other thing so this time we are going to talk about something related to tendon and ligaments right we have already explained you that a tendon is something which joins the muscle to the bone and a ligament is which joins two bones together so ligament bone to bone tendon muscle to bone and these two things are fibrous tissues so fibrous uh, tissues these tissues can actually get injured and injuries can be a stretch injury or it can be a tear right it might also get inflamed but here we are talking about injury so tear or stretch injury is more here inflammation will happen because of these injury itself so when a tendon gets injured or strain or stretched it can lead to what is called a strain strain s t r a i n t for tendon s t for strain and when a ligament gets stretched or teared that is called a sprain like ankle sprain so ankle sprain is different and muscle tendon strain is different right so that's the idea why they are different because the reason is different why they happen right because a ligament a uh, sprain actually happens because of either falling the due to a different angle a uh, separate angle due to uh, any reason or if something hits you in some other angle where your joint is not supposed to move and or if you actually twist twist the bone or the joint that can lead to a ligament tear or ligament sprain and a um, tendon strain happens because of because of overuse because whatever you do exercise sports you are doing it more often repeating the same movement again and again overdoing it will lead to sprain right that is strain sorry tendon sprain sometimes we get confused but you can remember t for tendon t for strain the idea is because <clears throat> both of them will actually lead to similar uh, symptoms both will have pain both will have inflammation they might have bruising also outside the body and the pain will depend upon whether it is mild moderate severe and mild moderate severe depends upon the grade grade mean grade 1 is uh, just a little stretch or very minimal tear right that will be grade 1 where there will be uh, no major pain but in case of a ligament there will not be any you know because ligament actually holds the joint together so there is a stability which a ligament gives to the joint so you will not lose any stability in grade 1 mild tear or mild injury in grade 2 injury what happens there is a more serious injury and the ligament is torn but not completely not completely and that time you will lose some stability of the joint and this will lead to more pain more inflammation more swelling right and grade 3 is something where the ligament is torn completely and the ligament is torn completely although it's it's not a fracture but you will feel like a fracture because you won't be able to move the joint right it will cause a lot of pain mostly there are some exceptions like uh, the tendo achilles in tendon cases it might not pain but in ligament case the bone uh, the, the joint loses might lose its stability and using the joint might pain a lot right so grade 3 injury is that ultimately treatment and recovery matters good thing is treatment is almost same for both of them either if it is sprain or strain both need rice rice 
यस आर आई सी ई रेस्ट आइस कंप्रेशन एलिवेशन राइट रेस्ट इज नीडेड यू हैव टू गिव रेस्ट टू दैट ज्वाइंट टू दैट टेंडन टू दैट मसल फॉर एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी फोर टू फोर्टी एट आवर्स राइट दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट देन आई इज आइस यू नीड टू आइस दैट एरिया you know don't need to apply the ice directly you need to cover it with a cloth right and then apply the ice over that area for 10 minutes and then take a gap of 30 minutes this way you need to repeat this process repeatedly for the maybe a uh, 3 4 times in a day in the morning and evening and you need to do this for at least 3 days right because this thing ice causes vasoconstriction constriction of the blood vessels which are actually injured and they think okay something has happened let's uh, put a lot of blood and swelling will happen so inflammation will reduce swelling will reduce because of this and then you need to compress it r i c c for compression compress the joint with something so that the joint does not move and the swelling gets decreased something like a compression bandage right crepe bandage or something then the fourth thing is elevation whenever you have rested uh, you are lying down then you keep the joint in a level above your heart that will lead to decrease in swelling so r i c e is the main treatment for at least 3 to 4 days and <clears throat> you might need medicines depending upon the pain if the pain is very severe you will need medicines if there is no pain you don't need medication pain killers right but if the pain is severe you might also need investigations like x ray mri to see if the, the tendon is actually partially or completely broken right and how unstable is the joint and if there is any fracture or not right then even if you don't have a fracture you will need to immobilize the joint and for that you might need a cast you might need a cast or if there is a problem in your legs you might need to walk with crutches for some time at least and you need to rest but of course and in severe cases in some cases surgical correction may be needed but not in all don't worry mostly physiotherapy is the best uh, modality for rapid recovery good fast recovery physiotherapy has lasers ultrasound exercises etc 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 so they help right electrical therapy these all help in recovery and most importantly you need to understand recovery will be slow it's it's basically something like grade 1 uh, injuries where there is a minimal tear will recover in a few days and grade 2 will recover in 3 to 8 weeks yes and grade uh, grade 2 will 3 to 8 weeks and grade 3 will recover in months coming months right so if you follow these guidelines right they will recover better they will recover faster physiotherapy will help you get mobilized i am talking about complete recovery i'm not saying you don't have to get mobilized you will get mobilized but you will get back the strength slowly all right and even after surgery that time is needed for the rehabilitation so that's why taking care of your joints knowledge about your joints bones and basics is utmost important when you want to make a career in weightlifting bodybuilding fitness or you have a passion about it so that's why this series is so important the science of exercise make sure to follow it make sure to spread the news share this and let me know how do you like the video give a big thumbs up if you like it comment in the section below and let me know your feelings and i'll see you again and as soon as possible this is dr paramjit i'm a consultant physician cardiologist in yashoda super speciality hospital nehru nagar delhi ncr and this is dr education fitness and nutrition all you need to do stay healthy is stay connected